know I suggested it that she lie about the breakup, but I never thought she'd move out. Why can't she just tell them all the truth? Well, when you came out, I wasn't the best dad in the world, was I? Not for a while. You didn't kidnap me, though, did you? I'm just saying, it's not easy for any of you. It just makes me so angry what our parents have done to her. And now Hassan's gone. I mean, how do you grieve for a dad that turned his back on you? Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but the man's a fool. He was lucky enough to have his son and daughter around him. All of us have that luxury. You and Rana need a break, just the two of you. Nobody's sticking the beak in. <laughs> if only I had a money tree. You do? Me? Well, not a tree, more a little shrub. I'm sure we can find a last minute deal. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, our dad's fourth, they can't spoil the kids, eh? Thanks, Dad. You were right to be bossy. I sometimes need telling. Can I get that in writing? I'll get it tattooed on me behind if you'd like. <laughs> because, Cathy, like you said, teaching is my true calling, and I'd be a fool not to go for that job. That's great, love. Well, I've got Joseph, Hope and Ruby to thank for making me realise I've got a natural way with them um, young children. Mm -hmm. uh, they're as good as gold when they're with me. Chesney said that himself. Cooey! Have you got a moment? <laughs> it's an invite to Jude and Angie's vow renewals. Oh, how lovely! Oh, good morning, Jude. Angie, I was just telling Kathy and Brian about my, um, my, my time in Thailand. Morning, Mum. Morning. So we, uh, still on for counselling later? Yeah, I said it was. Shall I, uh, meet you for lunch, then? Uh, I'll, I'll give you a call later. Bye, bye, bye. <sighs> oh, aren't like you worried about Henry? As if. He deserves everything he gets. Men are a waste of time. Yeah. Hey, what happened to that fit one you were seeing? You know, he was all right for a man in his prime. Mike, well, uh, just sort of fizzled out. Uh, we're low on pot scratchings. You know, any guy would be lucky to have Liz. Have you seen them legs? I thought that her and Mike were a proper good match. Oh, you heard her. She obviously won that into him. Well, can't you see that? She's lonely. She's got eyes like a sad little basset hound. I'm gonna make this right. How? I don't know, but get me some wings and some hot pants cos I'm playing Cupid. Yeah, all this treating me and keep him keys. A lot of rubbish. Ladies like a gent. Oh, I used to love a bad boy when I was a girl. Ace Monroe, he had a motorcycle. <laughs> Mother was not a fan, I was, until I discovered his real name was Gordon. Yes. <laughs> so where are you taking them in? Just for a pizza. Ooh, posh then pizza, of course. You should pop into Preston's Petals, buy some red roses. I'd rather tulips. Ooh, thinking outside the box, I like it. It's pretty lonely in the flat we just crave for company. Oh, it's no fun for me either living with my brother. He spends all morning in the bathroom and keeps nicking my moisturizer. Can't wait to get out of there. Well, I know what'll make you happy. An understanding mother and calorie free ice cream. <laughs> better. Well, not better than the mum thing, but how'd you fancy a holiday? I love work. Can you fit me in your suitcase? Well, I can try. Oh, can you get us two coffees, please? So, what do you think? Just us. Well, that's not the face I was expecting. I just don't think I can. M my mum. Would you tell your mum that you're going with old mates from uni? We need this. No, what I'm saying is, my mum needs me. I was thinking of going away with her on the cruise that she booked for her and dad. Six weeks. How'd you know that? Imran told me. He wanted me to persuade you to go. Looks like he's done a good enough job of that, though. I want to go. Right, well, you better be careful going away with her. You might never come back. Where are you going? We're talking. I'm done talking. Well, it's not like wearing a tie is going to make him let me off, is it? How do you know? They worked for you last time you were in court. Hey, that's enough. I'll put the attitude down to nerves, shall I say? 
Sorry, the solicitor said it'll probably just be a fine. Guess which we'll pay for, so bless you, you'd gob. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I know you are. If your dad's on your side, remember that. Right, uh, I've got nipped to the factory. Carla's a slave driver, so I'll see you at the tram stop. Well, don't be long. We don't want to be late. Look, I can see that you're anxious. But remember, you've done the right thing now. You've owned up to what you did, OK? Yeah, exactly. Tyler's the criminal here, not you. Oh, come here, let me sort this tie out. It's all over at shop. Hi! You busy working or are you shopping for shoes? Oh, we're interviewing machinists today. I'm just checking them out online. You're allowed to do that. I'm only making sure they're not psychos. Mm. Um, Peter in today? Yes, why? Mm, no reason. Oh, look, speak of the devil. Oh, really? All good things, I hope. Oh, we'll see, won't we? Uh, I told you yesterday I've got to go to court with Si. Oh, tell him I'm thinking of him, won't you? Yeah. Thanks. I'll be back for the interviews. Oh, no, don't worry. Well, I want to know who I'm hiring. I can handle it. Just go and support Si. OK, if you're sure. Sean, your key, it's not even nine o'clock yet. Oh, I know, I just thought I'd come and get myself settled in. Hey, Sean, I'll have a coffee if you're making one. Listen, Peter, I'm just just, just thinking. Um, the first interview's at quarter past 12, so if you can make it back, that'd be brilliant. OK, great. I'll do my best. OK. Why do you want him at the interviews now? Are you up to summer? I do know why you're here. To protect me from big bad Peter. Oh, well, listen, we all know you love to play Superwoman, but Peter Barlow is your kryptonite, isn't he? Or do I mean Lex Luthor? Either way, he's a buddy, so just be careful, OK? Mm. Mum, about the cruise, I just thought we had so many more years together. We all miss it. Hey, Yasmin. Is the uh, beef nahari in the uh, express lunch deal? You must come across a few liars in your line of work. Yeah, usually me. So uh, the beef. She's a wolf in sheep clothing. That woman, a snake. Not a fan of Rana, then. No, 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 not not Rana. Her mother. She cannot be trusted. Yeah, I suppose she's a bit shifty looking. Come to think of it. Anyway, uh, the beef nahari. So. I thought I could go with you on the cruise. I thought it might be good for us to spend a bit of time together. Oh, sweetheart. That would mean the world to me. I'm so proud of you. Are you? Of course. You made the right decision. You got rid of that woman. And that's why I'm going to ask your brother to split his inheritance with you. What do you mean? Well, when we found out about everything, your father thought it was best to leave your inheritance to Imran. He cut her out of his will. He was angry, and so was I. But now she's seen sense, I know her son would want her to have it. She's our daughter again. I was never not your daughter. You shamed us, Rana. But now you're on the right path. Where's the bathroom? It's about there. I can't go on like this. Should I tell the truth about me and Kate? The referral's a good thing. It means you get to make up for what you've done. Yeah, I suppose. Hey, come on. This bit's over with. Cheer up. Come on. Is it, though? I mean, I'm still going to testify against Tyler. Everyone's going to think I'm a grass. Ah, oh, well, worse things to be. Say, si, today was a good day. So I say we celebrate with curry. What do you think, Peter? Oh, uh, I've got to get back to work. But listen, take that. You two, enjoy yourselves. Be good. Thanks. So what do you reckon, Si? Do you fancy a bit of Speed Dial's finest? Oh, I'm about to go in. All oh, right, great. Well, at least I won't be a Billy no mate, so even if my son doesn't want to sit anywhere near me. Go on, then. <laughs> Come on. I 
wish your father was here. To see all that nonsense with that woman was just a blip. I can't do this. No, oh, that don't. No, I have to. I'm sorry, Mum. But Kate wasn't a blip. She wasn't a mistake. Of course she was. No, you're not listening. I love her. I never finished it. What? Me and Kate are still together. I'm sorry. I lied to you. You let your father die? Believe in your lies? I had to. I needed to say goodbye. It's all about you, isn't it? You make me sick. So, if you want someone with a natural affinity... Always take the cash and then give the kebab. Pork round here might look trustworthy, but after a few bevies, it's a different story. Hey, I, uh, run Weatherfield General. Henry's fractured his collarbone, but he's OK. How did you find that out? I will just explained that I was his brother calling from the Maldives. Oh. You didn't have to do that. I couldn't give a toss about Henry. Or any other bloke, for that matter. I am off men. No matter how fit they are, all I need is my mates. Mm. Mum, can I have one of those mango drinks? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Good shout. Get me one and all, and why don't you order while you're up there? Okay. Hey, listen, we should have a play date with George and Oliver, shouldn't we? Yeah, I could do that. Or you could get a sitter, Duke can have George for the night, and we can go and check out that new gym bar in town. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Get Steve to babysit. Mm. Do you know, he's not had his head out of them papers all day. <laughs> hey. Your husband was looking for you, Ella. Was he? Oh, thanks. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to get takeaway. I need to make tracks. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's really nice. Mm. Right, well, I'll uh, pop this in the post box and I'll um, I'll get the drinks in. Okie dokes. He's going for it then, this uh, teaching job. Thanks to your Joseph and the girls, they've really boosted his confidence. Mm, well, they're loving. <laughs> yes, so I've heard. He says they don't put a toe wrong when he's looking after them. And that's because they want the presents. Presents? Yeah, Christmas. You've lost me. They think Brian's Santa Claus. What? Because he dressed up as him that one time. He do not even look anything like the real Santa Claus. So, that's why they're so good for him. That's why they behave like angels, yeah. <sighs> this is ridiculous. This isn't you, Rama. It is, Mum. For the first time in my life, I feel right. <laughs> You and Dad were prepared to cut me out, never see me again. Just because I fell in love. You don't love that girl. What girl cares about me? She cares about us. It was Kate that suggested I'd say we split up just so you'd see me. So, so she forced you to love. Stop lie. twisting it. Do you see how ridiculous you're being? My faith isn't ridiculous. It's my faith too. How can you say that? You've turned your back on your God, your family, your faith. I haven't, Mum. They've turned their back on me. <laughs> and so have you. It doesn't have to be like that. <laughs> it doesn't. Accept my relationship and accept Kate and we can be a family again. <sighs> oh, do you know what? I don't know why I'm bothering. I'm stood here trying to get you to listen when I should be salvaging what's left in my relationship. Yeah, the relationship that you tried to destroy! Hey, did you buy them tulips yet? A bit pricey. Oh, yeah, well, I could get you a discount, mate, but I'm trying to avoid Tracy. She wants me to look at some seating plan and uh, my face hurts pretending that I care. <laughs> I 
were just thinking that I need to see Steve, and now here you are. All right, well, I'm sorry, lovely lady, but I'm taken. Oh, don't even joke. You're old enough to be my granddad. Hey. Listen, right, you know that teacher that your man were copping off with? Yes. He used to work on the cabs, didn't he? Have you still got his number? Well, probably, yeah, but why now? He is old enough to be your granddad. It's not for me. It's for your mum. She misses him. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, men are so blind. I'm going to give him a bit of a nudge. No, I reckon you're wrong there. Probably best you get your beak out. She misses him. You text me that number, yeah? Ronna, just leave me alone. I can't. I'm tired, Mum. I'm done. I just want what's best for you. I'm happy with Kate. Then why did you move out? I just stop it. It's nothing to do with you anymore. Were you really going to go on the cruise with me? Ronna, please. I've already lost our husband. You're right, we need to rebuild our family. I can't lose you two. I can't pretend to be someone I'm not. You should love me no matter what. You and your brother are the most important thing to me. Rana, I'll be honest. I don't understand it. I wish things were different. But I know. You're an intelligent young woman. And if you say you love Kate, <laughs> then I have to learn to accept it. <sighs> Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I was away with the fairies for a minute there. As usual. <laughs> you know me so well. I better get back to work. Yeah, hey, uh, I'll cook tonight. Oh, don't worry about it. I had a really big lunch. Oh, you should have texted me. I'd have come and met you. Yeah, I had it at my desk. It's a really big back return today, so... <laughs> See you later. So, shall I, uh, come meet you out of work? We can head up to counselling together? Um, I was thinking we could maybe give counselling a miss tonight. Why? You're making really good progress. Yeah, let's just talk about everything later. Yeah. OK. You're talking to me now, are you? Don't be like that. I shouldn't have walked out before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Didn't mean to put pressure on you. It's just when you were talking about going away, it seemed <laughs> mad. I get what you mean, but I promise it'll be okay. If the six weeks will fly by. Are you still going? All right, Sean. Come on, babe. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Oh, thanks. You're a brain transplant or something. You should be very protective over your lunch. No, I never. Yeah, you should, dear. I just didn't remember Steve having a few hand slaps every time he went for your prawn cocktails. <laughs> hey, Nat. I think I've just seen a ghost. She's an exact clone of Tina. Tina. You take a seat. Do you want tea or a coffee or anything? No, da. I don't like hot drinks. Oh, really? Wow. I can't survive without my caffeine. I'm bitter. You're like a bad smell, you are. What are you doing here? Well, that's nice. Is that how you talk to your bestie when she's brought you a butty? Oh, da. You're looking away at her, are you? What, why? Well, because of the look-alike thingy. What do you mean? Oh, come off it, Carla. She's an exact replica of flipping Tina McIntyre. Really? No, I don't see it. Carla, Michelle. All right, fine. I'm going to close your eyes to it. But Pete will see it, even if you don't. You tapped you on. Go on, get gone. Hey. So, has she got experience, this lass? Well, the CV's a bit thin, but, you know, so was mine. I reckon we give her a shot. I'm happy to let you take the lead on this one, though, yeah? Oh, yeah. After everything she's done, you think she wants to make amends? She's trying, Kate. How stupid can you get? As soon as you go on that cruise, she's going to turn you against me. Like, you weren't there. We had a really honest talk. Yeah, I'm sure you were honest with her. But she'll never accept us as a couple. She'll only be shipped off and brainwashed as soon as. Why are you so afraid of her? You know, 
I don't know, maybe because she tried to kidnap you? Well, a lot has happened since then. My dad's dead. Your dad dying doesn't change who your mum is. She's lonely and she's grieving. Yeah, I know. I am too. You thought you understood how I felt about Aiden, about everything. But you don't care about any of it. Of course I do. Then stay. Please don't go on that cruise. <laughs> then don't expect me to be waiting for you when you get back. Everything okay with your meal? Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous, Ta. You'll have to tell me your secret. Secret? Well, how to get a teenager to spend any time with you. <laughs> now, I remember when Cal was your age. It was definitely not cool to be seen out with your mum. Yeah, well, Sai's had a bit of a tough time lately, haven't uh, you, mate? I'm all right. Ah, big softy, really, aren't right, you, eh? Stop trying to embarrass me. <laughs> yeah, but you love me, really, don't you, eh? <laughs> oh! What were you doing? How did that get in there? I have no idea. Yes, we're well, flipping heck. Please calm down. Do you want me waiting ages for this I and all? I don't know. Is there any more in there? I'll get to the bottom of this. You know I will. Please. We're back in Weatherfield in half an hour.